Well, inflation and growth continuing to ebb, but recent data showing no evidence of a dramatic downshift in either. Now, that high inflation set to keep the Fed on track with its higher for longer approach to interest rates. Joining us now with how this is set to affect the wider economy is Gargi Chowdhury, BlackRock America's iShares investment strategy head. Thank you for joining me this morning. So as we were mentioning there, a lot of different indicators that investors are watching. But when we look at investor behavior, how they've been pouring into big tech this year, despite what the Fed has been signaling, how should investors then be positioning themselves right now? Sure thing. Good morning, Rochelle. It's great to be on the show and good to meet you. Um, so exactly to your point, there is a lot of cross currents in the market right now. You know, obviously, on one hand, you have uh, what we think is going to be a pause from the central bank after the next meeting tomorrow. On the other hand, you have some resiliency uh, in the earnings uh, forecast as well. The companies are some companies are guiding to an OK year ahead. So a lot of cross currents in the markets, and I'll point to three things. Number one, we think that investors should be continuing to focus on the quality of the names that they own. So whether that's quality in the bond markets or quality in the equity markets, that's going to be paramount as we go into a slower period of growth in the quarters ahead. The second is the role of fixed income. If you want income, you're getting that in the fixed income markets. If you want balance, you are also getting that or you're beginning to get that in the fixed income markets as the Fed slows down uh, or even pauses after the next meeting. So I'll you know, sort of leave you with those two broad points. And so with that, then, as we look at uh, fixed income, you like short dated, high quality fixed income. What are some examples? Sure. So. Again, coming back to the theme that I mentioned earlier about quality. So short dated is where you're earning the most amount of income, the most amount of coupon. If you think about something like the one to three year part of the corporate credit uh, market, where you're looking at IG rated bonds about you know a little over two years of duration, and you're able to earn a yield of over 5%. That is incredible and more than what you were earning in high yield just about 18 months ago. Um, at the same time, if you just look at, you know, sort of uh, a few, uh, just one to two year treasuries, even that is earning you a very high rate of return, close to about four and a half percent. So looking at things like IGSB or SHY, we think those are areas of the market which are, again, high quality and are giving you that income in your portfolio that investors are looking for. I'll also say that in addition to the things that I mentioned, if you are concerned about a slowdown, if you are concerned around what might happen with the volatility, given the news around debt ceiling, given the massive rally that we've seen in uh, large cap tech year to date, I think longer data duration. So looking at something like the ad, uh, which again is yielding above 4%, is something that investors can be considering in their portfolios as a provider of ballast in their portfolios. And you do note that even though it's a challenging time for equities, there can be some opportunities here, especially for those that have global exposure. Break down the strategy and mm -hmm. how you're picking those. Sure, Rochelle. So what we think about are twofold. Number one, where can companies have earnings growth, right? So looking at that growth measure is really important. But at the same time, it's not just about growth. It's also about valuation. So we call that sort of looking at growth at a reasonable price. So what are some sectors or industries in the, area, in the markets that not just have the potential for stronger balance sheet, that have the potential for earnings growth, but are also reasonable reasonably priced. And this is where we think uh, global energy companies, uh, as well as global tech companies, also looking at something like semiconductors, those make a lot of sense in a portfolio. And then finally, looking at something like quality or QUAL, which is a ticker that we really like, which again, gives you a sector neutral, diversified ways of approaching those companies that have better balance sheets, better margin and better profitability. I mean, it does seem like some investors are going to be perhaps caught off guard or have some cold water thrown on mm. their expectations. I mean, you're saying that you're not expecting, you said that market expectations for the Fed to ease significantly before the end of the year are misplaced, especially when you look at that core PCE number. So what sort of timeline do you think realistically investors should be looking at? Yeah, it's a good question. So I think when we, you know, historically, when we look at the 1990s period all the way till now, 
the pause period, the period at which the Fed does their last hike and then, you know, sort of pauses for a bit before they start cutting, has been about 10 months. That has been the average pause period. Now, around this cycle, could that be shorter? Certainly, especially if we continue to see a moderation in the job market, like we did with the JOLTS data this morning, like we have seen with the PCE as well as the CPI data, still very high, but moderating uh, lower. I think in those environments, we can certainly see the Fed pause in May and then keep rates at this higher period for longer, maybe till the end of the year, before they determine in the first quarter of 2024 if they need to actually bring, bring rates down. And what that will depend on, actually, will be, of course, the trajectory of how the job market plays out, where we're getting additional jobs from, whether it's just leisure and hospitality, as we've seen, or whether there's a broader availability of jobs. And number two, of course, the trajectory of inflation. What is poor X shelter doing? Are we beginning to see a move downwards or are we continuing to see some uh, stickiness in inflation? Well, you know, when you have a data dependent Fed, every, every announcement matters. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Gargi Chowdhury, BlackRock America's iShares Investment Strategy Head. Thank you so much.